I'm back out doing some more landscape photography and I've come up to Tom Gill Falls. I was going to go up um, on some hills surrounding Coniston Water but there was no parking spaces so I'm going to have a little bit of a play here and then go for a wander in the woods. We're going to have to do some stuff that I don't really like which is it's sort of going to be a long exposure just because of how fast that's moving but I think I want to try and find some simple compositions. I kind of want to just get the waterfall because this is making some patterns in here. But we'll have a play. I've got my camera down here. We've got all these rocks that we can play with. There's that log. And we could go down that stream and get a shot looking up. On this first one, I've, I've zoomed quite far in. We're getting the like the foamy water at the bottom in the first uh, about a stick through the up to about here it's like foam from there downwards then we got the waterfall making like a triangle then we're getting some of the dark um, there's like dark rock on the edges this is a shot that I had in my mind when I was wandering down here it doesn't really say it's this waterfall though, so I think we should try and get a wider shot. Maybe from down there, get them branches in. So we need to cross that river somehow. But um, I'm going to have a little bit of a play here and then we'll move over there. I've had a slight change of plans. I've got a shot that I'm happy with there. I've done one at f8 and I've done one at f2.8. And I want to see how, how the water compares and I've changed my mind about going over to that side you possibly could get across down there but after looking around there's a big waterfall down there too so rather than falling down there I'm going to follow the path down and we'll get a view from the bottom I think I've got everything I want here I've dropped down a little bit further and we're getting a better view of that waterfall that I talked about. I thought that I wanted to get the shot from down there, looking up, but I'm liking how this tree at the top, it's sort of, um, it's cutting through the frame quite nicely. And the waterfall, like the white bit, that's cutting through the, these darks quite nicely and all the greens. I'm gonna grab a quick photo here and then I'm going to go down there and work out what I like and then we'll get the last shot there. And now I'm down at the edge of the waterfall. I've got my camera set up over on this side and we're just about getting all the waterfall in the picture. We can get from here to about here and I'm liking how this, this wood is sticking into the frame then you get the really dark rocks and the water is spreading out. I've got one shot that I'm happy with there, but I think if I ever play around, I can maybe find one or two more. Then I'm going to go back to the other two places on the way up and see if the lights change. But I think I'm going to end it there. I'm going to just go for a wander in the woods and see what I can find. Also, I think I'm going to start doing more blog posts. So. I occasionally come out without the video camera so if you want to see those adventures too I'll put a link down below so you can sign up to the newsletter and get notified when they come out. Um, that'll mainly just be like looking at pictures with a little bit of an explanation. But I hope you like this short video. I'll be back up on the fells next time I think and I'll see you then.